Well, it's, it's a little bit of controlled chaos at this moment right now. There's a lot going on. Fingers crossed we're gonna get on some bucks. My daughter's here, she's gonna roll with me this morning. We're gonna do the Wayne Van Zwall walkabout. Is the meat wagon ready? We're ready. Okay, okay. Good player. We got a drizzly day. It's just one of those things, we're gonna roll with it. The wind's not terribly bad, and we're gonna be able to do sneaky sneaky with the wet grass without any uh, crunch crunch and uh, breaking day. So we got 20 minutes and we'll be right in the game. We made it in last night about 11.30 and uh, got up this morning to go hunt and I finally brought my husband Clint. I typically get to go um, every year with my dad and we hunt with our uh, the folks that we know in the industry, our friends and our clients. So I get to come out here every year, but Clint is a pastor, a local pastor, and he doesn't get to come out very often. So this will be really fun. I think it's been five years. It's been about five years. So yeah, so. Missed it. It's been a while since he's been hunting out west, so this should be a good time. He's a Bears fan. The Bears. No, we're excited to have him out, both of them out at the same time. And Clinton, he's got the passion, loves the outdoors, just doesn't get the opportunity to do it very often. So, so we're gonna put him as a first shooter this morning. We'll see what happens. We're in deer. We're, we've seen uh, six does so far, so. head that way and uh, the wind's blowing that way so they're gonna, every deer down this bottom is gonna f smell me as I'm walking. We have been in the deer today but unfortunately for two of them they saw us before we saw them and we did not get a shot, but there was one small buck that came up, came through just perfect, just what we wanted, but he was a little, he was a year too young. So we passed up on him. Um, that's really hard to do <laughs> when the deer outsmart you and finally you get one in your scope within 200 yards. Just want to trip the trigger, but Clint did a good job holding off because he was, he was a smaller buck. Kind of wrapping up our morning hunt. We might push a little bit more, but it was a great hunt. We saw a ton of deer and two shooter bucks. We just couldn't get on them fast enough. So hopefully we have better luck. Land the plane. The next morning. I don't know how to do this stuff. I'm bad under pressure. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is my husband. <laughs> well, today it's a change of atmosphere. We got the cold, cold wind that just came through. They weren't moving a whole lot yesterday, so a lot of small guys out there looking for a big one. We got to our spot. Um, there's a real thick bottom down here, and we're gonna see if we can get catch the deer filtering from the field into the cover. And then they just walk this creek line, especially in the, and when it's windy like this, super windy, they'll get down in the bottom and just walk the bottoms. Um, and this, it looks like there will be acorns down here too. So we're hoping that they get down into this bottom where we're overlooking and uh, we'll be able to catch them coming through. We think we got a pretty good spot. Scope. There's a 
branches all through there. It's, it's not going to be a clean shot. There was one. There's a, like he would have had to been a lot closer to be in the window. Two does and a buck. The buck wasn't very big though, but it was very promising because it was as soon as we sat down. About five minutes later, we saw it. So, kind of gave us that hope. And so, despite the cold, we've still been looking. I think if we didn't see anything earlier, <laughs> we would probably be gone by now. <laughs> We're freezing our balls off. <laughs> and I don't even gone. have any. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're getting cozy with that tree there. Yes. I'm getting into the Christmas spirit. <laughs> How do you warm up when you're freezing? We talk and yeah. jump around. <laughs> Which isn't a good hunting strategy. That's why I do it in the tree. We have to move. We have to stay alive. We're in survival mode. One nap later. Yeah, I just kind of do what I'm told. Um, <laughs> I'm a good husband. So she I'm says shoot. Keeper. Yep. She says pull the trigger. I pull the trigger. She says chop wood. I chop wood. That's what I do. I say they do the dishes and you say... Oh man, did you hear that? I think somebody rang the doorbell. But, uh, yeah, this big buck has been kind of roaming this area on top. Uh, we're going to go head that way and see if we can ambush him. This is where I shot my buck last year, so hopefully it brings good luck. Click the link in that corner for the video. So then I would just move a little bit and she'd stop again. <laughs> then move a little bit and she'd stop again. <laughs> like, why aren't you running as soon as she spotted you guys? That's when she, she blew, yeah. He's a monster, isn't he? <laughs> he needs two more points then. Like, <clears throat> 50 more inches of horns. I'm just trying not to spook him right now. been watching a doe down here for a long time and she just started moving this way we were literally starting to pack up and a big body deer started walking where that doe had been and I <clears throat> I couldn't even see with my naked eye but I knew it was a big body put my binoculars up and could see the horns and knew that it was a shooter buck so we got on it as fast as we could and uh, Clint made a shot I heard the impact so it ran right into this thick stuff right over here. And um, we don't know where, if it's, if it's still there, it might be dead. The shot was taken at near dark, six minutes or so left. And so now we're trying to track it. We got a team of people now in the woods. We're scouring, um, trying to find really any trace of this deer, but he took off pretty strong, a lot of adrenaline. And uh, so I don't know, hopefully we find him. If not, we're gonna have to come back tomorrow and uh, see what we can find. We called in the, re the reinforcements and got some more people in to look for this deer, help find him. Looked at the footage and saw that it looked like he was a hurt deer. And um, Ashley and Josh and dad came through and Josh found him about 10 minutes ago. When you take a shot like that and it's getting dark, it looked good, it felt good. When it runs like that, I'm like, man, I just don't know. Well, that's only because I haven't been doing it this long. He was dead within a minute. Right. You know, I don't even think he but lived it took, 40, it, it took an hour, over yep. an hour to find him. And from where he, he was shot, he probably ran up maybe 150, 125. Well, the key was to, when you look at the terrain and, and, you, and you just, 
after years of kind of watching a, a mortally wounded animal, they're usually looking for lower ground. They're not going to climb. And so we took the first route, checked it out, didn't find it. So then we decided, hey, if he started to hook this just another little direction, maybe going back to the way that he came from, and and he's going to be lower, uh, lower, lower in ground, and boom. And I mean, it was Josh was on that left wing, and yeah, he's like barely anything got him, at all. Got yeah. him. Hey, go ahead and <laughs> like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, do all that stuff. Thanks for watching. <laughs> right, Adam? Hey, that was perfect. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Autumn, autumn. Land it. Land it.